Okay, welcome back to another episode of Dawn of Man. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the game, Dawn of Man is a... Uh, is a historical reenactment, basically. Where you are in charge of a group of people and you have to lead them through the ages. From the Stone Age up to the Iron Age. And we, we already started, so we want to continue with that. Now, in the last episode, we managed to get... Um, what did we do last episode again? <laughs> I forget. Oh yeah, that's right. We were, um, we were uh, harvesting flax. Now flax is kind of important because uh, that allows us to produce clothing. Now not really good clothing, just uh, warm clothing for the summer. And it's also kind of, um, it's a little bit prettier than the current clothing that we have. So giving it a bit more stout. This is what uh, my people want. Basically, that a lot. Oh, yeah, we want to get the stables up and running as well. For that, we need three more mud. Can we get some mud? Uh, this guy's fishing. I'd rather have him get some mud. <laughs> can we can we get some mud? Is, that some, is there some mud for us here? Where where are you going? You're going to get raw skin. Okay, good. You keep doing that stuff. Now we have over here. Some bulls. Workload is too high. I know, I know. Now, see, if we go to our uh, scheme, let's see, we need one more wild horse, one more auroch. Oh, no, we have a five out of ten. So we need five more aurochs to get the uh, to get another knowledge point. We need, we need five knowledge points so we get the sheep domestication. And from sheep domestication, we get wool. And with wool, we can make... Uh, warm winter clothes. Is this what we want to do? Not enough stable. I know. Raider attack. Uh oh. We have a raider attack. How many raiders are there? That's that's quite a significant amount of raiders. That's, uh, that's four raiders at the moment. So let's see. I need everybody. <coughs> everybody in. New human has joined settlement. So we're up to 27 now. Excellent. So they have gone into the uh, into the watchtowers. You got two people in the watchtowers. Let's close these gates. Um, it's pretty much useless because they can basically walk around our uh, village. Uh, but we have a couple of problems. We our, our animals are not going in. Come on. <laughs> can we get them inside? Uh, let's close this gate as well. So they're gonna come for our main gate. That's uh, it's gonna be interesting. This. Ooh, we have a child outside, and I need you to get inside. Can you get inside? So let's open the gate. Oh, she's running in the wrong direction. <laughs> no, open the gate again. <laughs> let's open the gate a little bit. Get inside, you crazy kid. And then somebody already died? Holy flip, okay. Can... Okay, they're starting to be... Starting to fight with arrows. Alright. Now he is gonna go around. But I have arrows there as well. Can we close this gate? Oh no, he's inside! Kill him, guys, kill him! Good. Alright, I think... I think that basically means that this guy is the last remaining... Raider. That was it, right? Is that it? We lost a dog. It's a bit of a shame. But uh, everything else seems okay. We didn't lose anybody. No, no people died, except for the old lady that that just happened to just drop dead anyway. <laughs> so we learned something. We learned something. We need to we need to build some more of these towers. 
Let's, let's go ahead and defenses. Let's put down another gate. Uh, let's turn that around, actually. Like so. Well, are you, you are incredibly thirsty. All right. Not enough stable... Okay, space. I need I need these stables built. Um, I need three mud for that. Can we can we get some mud? Is that, is that something we can do? We still have ten mud right here. Are you getting mud? No, you're not. You're getting water. So we survived another raider attack. How much wood do we have? We have fourteen logs. This side of the wall is almost done. I need to put down. Uh, another watchtower over here. And I would like to have another watchtower on this side. But right now, I have too much workload. So I'm gonna just gonna just cancel that. I mean, we're not, we're not gonna get attacked right now. I want to add more towers uh, around the area as well. I think that's probably a good idea. What do we need? We need some straw and we need some log. We need a log. We have, we have straw right there. And we need a log. Acquired water, 250. We got another point. Look at that. We got six points already just from sitting around doing nothing. Excellent. <laughs> All right, the flax is almost completely uh, harvested. Good. Uh, are you getting mud? Extracting mud. Excellent. So, are you, what, are, what are you doing? You're going to get chestnut. Uh, do we have this? Uh, this is uh, this is a pear tree. Uh, where are the chestnuts then? Uh, you do your thing. You get the nuts. All good. And um, oh, we have a we have one of these. We have yeah we have our little ibex male over here that we want as a goat. We need to capture that still. We currently have how, how many domestic? We have four dogs and. Uh, Three goats. Uh, animals in each other is three goats. And as soon as we have this stuff, let's open the gates. Actually, let's keep everybody. Uh, like make sure that everybody can get in and out of the out of the colony. All right, good. Now we could go ahead and make this a bit more extreme. We could get a double layer of wall, for instance. That would mean that the uh, raiders would have to take twice as long to get through the walls. Which is a, it's a perfectly good idea to do. I mean, there is no reason why you can't do this, right? Let's go right ahead. Uh, you can also put double walls. You can make an entire maze where these guys have to get through to get to the to the, to the gate. And just line it up with a whole bunch of you know towers and stuff. But we've got a storm coming in. But um, it just takes up a whole lot of wood. And it's it's a lot of fun. But totally unnecessary, which is also fun. <laughs> okay, we that's the last little bit of wall there. Oh, I heard that. So we need two more mud here. Can we can we get the mud from some, somebody? Can somebody get the mud. Going to bank. Are you gonna get the mud for me? Uh, do we have enough clothes? We have 27 skin outfits and 12 wool outfits, so we're, I'm pretty sure we're fine. This person has a wool outfit, nice and warm. Uh, not everybody has a wool outfit. If we get a trader with wool, we'll buy some more. But for now, uh, I think we just have to wait. Just have to wait it out. Birch, birch, birch. Okay, we need we need some more logs. Currently, we're sitting on uh, a whole bunch of a bunch of. Um, wall that needs to be made still this part here and we want that made so that um attackers can't get in that easily anymore it'd be a bit helpful just a little bit not enough space for animals yes i know dry skins 100 acquired one more knowledge part look at that we have seven again oh now we can get sheep domestication the problem is <laughs> The problem is, um, it's, it's, it's getting into winter. It's, it's winter right now. So that means uh, it doesn't make sense to send my people out and, and get that stuff. Doesn't make sense at all. We have 16 bread, 2 vegetables, uh, 4 fish, and 14 meat. So we should be fine on the food. 
Um, they're going to eat a lot more bread than they usually do. We can also make more bread. Um, basically, we have... Well, you can make constantly. We can make some bread. We have also got some linen. So we can make some more uh, clothes. Some more linen outfits and stuff like that. Oh, look at that. This is coming up. Yes, they're making the stables. <laughs> Excellent. We'll get that. We'll get those... Uh, so, can we make a couple of these? Right, let's, let's just leave that out. We don't need that at the moment. I know I am working on it. Leave me alone. So we have... We had some new people come to the village. We had a new birth. Another female child. And um, I think we lost a lady. Female elderly lady. But everybody else seemed to be fine. That was a pretty... Pretty... Uh, pretty good at... Uh, at uh, counter to that attack we didn't uh, get any losses well except for the dog of course uh but for the rest it was good oh here we are here's another goat young male is that the one that we just got is that the, the one yes we have four goats now and the reason we're getting goats and the reason why we want to get also sheep besides the wool is because we want our little milestone that's animal control get 20 domestic animals now, getting 20 domestic animals means we can either get a bunch of dogs, which we already have. We have uh, five dogs at the moment, so in total nine animals. Uh, but we need to get, that basically five dogs is the maximum. We can't get more than five dogs for some reason. A young puppy here, young female. It's quite nice. A young old male, old, old female kind of stuff. These are all mostly old dogs. Just look at him. He's, he's just looking at that goat. <laughs> He's thinking, oh, that must be a nice meal. Now, all these animals require feeding. I don't know exactly what the goats need to eat um, once they're in the, uh, the, 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 uh, the stables, but we'll see. All right, they're making the gate. They just need one more log. Okay, excellent. There we go. And uh, we should also look into... I need this tree gone. So let's chop that down. Let's chop this tree down. Uh, and potentially also this tree. Get the wood from that. Get the logs. And then we can start building the remainder of the wall. We don't have much of the wall left to do. It's excellent. Uh, what, what are you getting? You're getting some more mud? Extracting mud. Okay. Not quite sure exactly why she's getting some more mud. She needs three mud. Uh, we can upgrade this. That, gets, that takes four mud, two um, thatch, four sticks, and one log. Uh, but I really don't want to. We already fixed the watchtower. What I do want is another watchtower. As well, we got attacked here. And this is our most prominent... Uh, what are they? Hmm... The last time they came from this direction, this time they came from that direction. We got 100 bread. Look at that. More knowledge points. We got 8 knowledge points. That's going pretty fast, actually. Um, so I want... I want another tower. I want another tower over here. Right next to that gate. So we have two uh, archers working on that at the same time. I also want... Let's see. How, we have 9 bows. I also want some more bows. Like that. Excellent. So that will give us two more bows. And bows are pretty good because that means... Uh, and slings as well. Don't get me wrong. Slings are also pretty awesome. Bows, because that means we can we can touch these people at a distance without having to leave the protection of the walls and the protection of the enclosure. Which is what we need. There we go. Another gate. The new gate. So we have some more knowledge points. We've got nine now. <laughs> Ooh, we can make a sledge. Don't want to. I uh, don't see the purpose yet for a sledge. Granary is getting full. Look at all this food. Wow. it's a lot of bread there. Not enough space. This is almost done. And then this stupid, annoying uh, notification will go away. <laughs> I would love to have that gone. Stables plus one knowledge. We got look how much knowledge points we get in just a less a little bit of we have we've been recording this for like 15 10 minutes. Awesome, look at this. 
This is just for the goats. I mean, some of my people don't live as comfortable as the goats. <coughs> it's pretty good. I like that. All right. So these are the goats. Now, what do the goats... The goats are... There's three goats. We have space for uh, yeah. ten animals. And th they need animal food. I'm not quite sure what kind of food they require, but I'm pretty sure they will get... Oh, that's, that's straw. They need straw. They eat straw as animal food. Okay. So if they... As they get more animal food, I guess they increase in in size. Is that's what I have to feed the animals? Well, they will they'll feed the animals themselves automatically. Be fine. So this kid here... It's a little bit cold. I need him to come inside. Or her. I need her to come inside. We got a lot of stuff here. See, this person here has got woolen clothes. That means that she can stay outside uh, longer, particularly at cold temperatures. He, on the other hand, you can see his temperature is going to drop pretty fast. Because he only has um, the old-fashioned clothing. So we need some more wool. And we're going to be doing that by getting some sheep. Domesticating some sheep. Perfect, right? <laughs> All right. Old female is coming back on a pat from a patrol. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go to our knowledge points. Ooh, what's this? Uh, we got some more cave bears. Young cave bears. Young uh, adult female bear. Uh, and we have... What's this over here? Um, Orok. All these animals. I'm not going to go hunting. I've had some seriously bad experience with hunting in the middle of winter. I lost four people. Not good. Uh, we want to stay out of the danger zone for now. But... Oh, look, they have woolen clothing. Look at that. She doesn't, though. I don't think she has. No, she just has a uh, skin outfit. So, she's going to get a temperature problem. But no worries, no worries. Nobody should die. Everybody's clothed. Everybody has the uh, option to get nice and warm. It's all good. Now, I do want to upgrade a house. Let's go ahead and upgrade this house. And it's going to take two thatch. How much thatch do I have? I have five. Uh, Seventeen thatch. Straw. Sorry, straw. So let's go and... Can we upgrade this? Mm, no. <laughs> let's go ahead and upgrade this puppy to uh, a much warmer, nice little hut like this. Uh, perfect stuff. The tent is damaged. <sighs> Needs to be repaired. Okay, they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. This guy has got nice woolen outfit. So we have a bit of a... Um, uh, a bit of a differentiation between people. Some people are uh, nice and warm with the woolen outfits. And some are a little bit cold. But where are you going? Going to get bone. Why are you going to get bone? Why do we need bone for? Right, there are a lot of bears here for some reason. Um, well, how many other animals do we have around here? Let's see. Let's go and check this out. We have Ibix here. Oh, it's Auroch. Okay. Uh, do we have... Do we have a small young f young female? Okay, that, that requires ca cattle domestication. We, c we don't really have that at the moment yet. We have another piggy here. And to domesticate piggies, we need to get the pig domestication thingy. And we have a Ibex, young female. We can, we can domesticate that one. I don't want to. I want sheep. Let's see. What, what are you? You are Ibex, no. And we have some ca some cave lions here. We, don't, we can't really do anything with that. H how are these guys? These are young female, young... These are bison. We can't domesticate that at all. That's just uh, impossible. We have some young... Oh, sorry. Young donkeys here. Uh, we can't domesticate that yet. Now, where... Young boar, no... No, no, we can't domesticate those either. Uh, mouflon. Okay, where are the young mouflon? I need young mouflon. Because <laughs> young mouflon will give us the 
um, the uh, the sheep that we need. What's this? This is another adult male mouflon. I need some young mouflon. I need. To, I will go. I'll go looking for them in the spring. Not right now. It just doesn't make any sense to do it right now. But I just need to know that they exist. What's this? We got another bear. Another bear family right there. So, okay. I don't see any mouflon around here. Nothing close by, sadly enough. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, maybe over here. This mouflon? Yes, young mouflon. Okay, it requires sheep domestication. Yes. Which we'll be getting soon. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> I touched something by accident. Oh, well. Anyways, let's go back to this. Okay. <clears throat> so what are you doing? Oh, you are fishing. Good. Keep fishing. I can I can increase the number of people fishing here to four. Get us some more food. Um, not, not that we need it, because we have already quite a lot of food. But it's always a good idea to keep a little bit more, more than we have. Everybody seems a bit cold. This guy seems a bit cold. You seem a bit cold. Oh, I definitely need... I definitely need... Uh, even you with the uh, wool outfit. You seem a bit cold as well. I definitely need to get... More wool outfits. They can survive a bit longer outside. I mean, it's still cold. And it will, it will remain cold for a while yet. Um, we're only... Yeah, we just passed halfway through the winter. So... I need this birch also removed. Let's go to defense. Let's put down a palisade. I want this palisade to go from here to there. Nice long wall. Let's click yes. And then we'll curve in this direction to there. We'll make this a bit longer and then we'll make a nice cutoff right there. So what are you guys doing? Eating. What are you doing? You're also eating. Okay, they're, they're going to be eating at the granary. Just grabbing food, eating bread probably. Yeah, all good. Just keep doing that then. Uh, what are you doing? You're extracting water and you are drinking. Why are you drinking? Hmm. Now, I do also have the option to go for well digging. This will allow us to dig a well. Um, and eventually hydropower, but we don't have that yet. And with the well, they will no longer need to go to the river to get water. They can just get the water in town. It's excellent. That's what we that's what we would like to have. How is everybody? It's, uh, okay, this is a nice hut. It's getting nice and warm. Uh, the tent here is getting recycled. Excellent. Now we want this path here to be free. So we want to have we have to remove this hut and potentially also this hut and replace it. Uh, by putting it uh, a little bit somewhere else. Now we also want this path here to be free. So we can go from there directly down to this, this gate here. It's a bit of a curve. Not <laughs> straight. But that means that we can put huts here, here, and here. In this location, this corner here, and over here by this wall. Everything else will be a bit of a cross walk. So from this wall, or this gate, here, uh, and a bit of a curve to that gate, and from this gate, kind of with a curve again to that gate. Everything else uh, will be huts, 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 and more buildings. It'll be good. <coughs> so, what are we? How, how far are you? Okay, you, need, you now you have everything recycled. You're going to be starting on the building part. We have housing for 30 people, so that means everybody should still be. Uh, capable of, uh, yeah, there we go. Another tower up and running, almost running. <laughs> Need a tower over here as well. As soon as they start work on this uh, hill here, I mean this wall. Uh, but current, uh, we have 30 sticks. That's a lot. Nine more logs. So I need the logs for the uh, for the wall. All right, we're doing pretty well. Everything seems to be going quite well. Uh, this thing is running out of fuel. It's fine. We can always get more fuel. We just chopped down another tree. Let's chop down this tree as well. Why not? 
So it's gonna, it's, it has tannin. I don't really want leather anyway. Leather is pretty useless, particularly now that we have linen. So um, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to uh, to keep getting uh, useless uh, tannin then. So we we're going to be have to, we're going to have to get further and further afield to get wood. It's a bit of an, a bit annoying. There's some more wood over here though. And we might just go get that. Okay, everything seems to be going quite well. Um, let's see. What do we have to research to get more points? So when it comes to building, five granaries, some more totems, uh, another five, four crafters, more hearths, some more storage tents, mm, some more outfitters, more weavers. I don't really want to build all these weavers. We can... Of course, uh, we can build one more watchtower. If we build one more watchtower, we currently have four. If we build one more watchtower over here, then we get another knowledge point. Excellent. Let's do that. So, let's see. Um, like, like so. That will defend the gate. Now, I also want another watchtower over here. And we'll build that later. And we'll build another watchtower over here in this corner here. Or right there where it's curving in and then we'll also build another watchtower over here so we'll have a whole bunch of watchtowers around the edge and uh, as soon as um, oh yeah, we do need more I'm currently sitting on 11 bows and that isn't even half of our population well it, um, yeah not even half but it's, 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 it's enough for now I guess how are the animals doing animals are doing fine they have water and they have straw Oh, pretty good. Excellent. A, tra a trader has arrived. Oh, excellent. Let's see if he has some wool. What do you have to offer? Uh, underground mining. Oh, you have a goat and you have underground mining. Oh, I like that. Um, how much is that? 206? That's not expensive. It's not expensive at all. I can give you that. I can give you a whole, all that. I can give you uh, this, this, a whole bunch of knives. I mean, we, can, we have a lot of flint, so... Uh, like so. We just got attacked, so I don't need all of these tools. And we have some bone spears. Um, that... Okay, should I give you a bow? Yeah, why not? Uh, and then... Like so. Trade that, and we'll get underground mining. Perfect. Underground mining unlocked. Excellent. We got another knowledge point done. This gives us uh, flint mining, copper mine, tin mine, iron mine. We are low on knives. Yes, we are. Let's go and make some more knives. <laughs> Basically, we have no more knives. We need pretty much everything. We have three flint spears, uh, flint, five flint knives, uh, six axes, that kind of stuff. We need some more knives. Let's build uh, some more of those. We need some more sickles. We need some more picks. And we need some more axes. Basically, we need, we need everything. <laughs> and I would like to go ahead and make another bow as well. Mm. Yeah, just another, well, just one more bow. Perfect. But we have another research point, a research done. Excellent. So now, uh, when we go to build um, and we go to production, we should see a flint mine. And we can put that on top of that. Right there. So that will allow us to uh, harvest flints uh, almost permanently. And then we also have another, another spot right here where we can put another mine. All good. Excellent. And they will flint. They will <laughs> no, flint. They'll give us all of the flint that we need. So we got another hut up and running. Perfect. Now we are up to... See how many people can we get? 34 people. And we are... Look how happy they are. 90% welfare. That's excellent. Oh, good. Good stuff. I see some gaps in the wall. Is that supposed to be there? Are those supposed to be there? No, I don't think so. I think they have to fix that. All right, let's see. We have three logs. I need more logs. So I want some of you guys to go and get us some more... Um, some more of this stuff and that and that tree. 
Get some more logs. Why not? Now we have a lot of fuel. So, uh, a lot of sticks. Yes, I know we're low in knives. Don't worry, we'll get them done. Not everybody has a knife, apparently. Everybody does seem to be very happy, though. I mean, look how good the village looks. Nice and protected. Survive the winter plus one. Excellent. We got everything done. We have an additional knowledge point, And now I'm going to unlock sheep domestication. Sheep domestication unlocked. Perfect. Uh, and we can start planting our flax again. And our wheat. All this stuff. Uh, nice. Excellent. Good stuff. And we can start looking into... Getting ourselves another little bit of a mouflon. Can we get some mouflon? <laughs> I don't know if there is any mouflon around here. Oh, we, here we go. That's a ibix. Never mind. Uh, I want mouflon. So that's a, uh, a mouflon. But we need a young mouflon. Not, not, a, not a, a grown up mouflon. We need a young mouflon. Um, nice and healthy. It's going to give us a whole bunch of wool. Because that will give us everything we need. See, this, that's, that's gonna, this is a mouflon. You can see that from the round horns. Um, no, those are cows. Mouflon, mouflon. Um, no, those are ibex. Not what we're looking for. Uh, that is a uruk. Uh, not what we're looking for. That's also a cow. I don't see any mouflon in the area. We'll have to wait until they come a bit closer. There are some mouflon over here, I thought. I saw. I think we saw it last time we were looking for these mouflon. Mm, that's a mouflon right there. But where are the young mouflon? Are these guys reproducing? I hope they are. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's a mouflon there. And you got a mouflon right there. And this is just one? Apparently they're very rare. Some wolves. I don't want wolves. Well, you can you can also domesticate these little puppies, these young males. Like for instance, we'll go and capture them and turn them into dogs. Uh, but we already have our maximum supply of dogs, so we don't want we don't need more of them. But we do want to go hunting. Hunting would be nice. Because we have, well, we have a lot of meat still. We survived the winter with just this amount of meat and uh, this amount of fish. So it's all good. They, all, they mostly ate um, uh, bread. It's all good. And we are back in the season for upgrading houses. <laughs> so let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Upgrade to hut. And then once that's, up that's upgraded, we will remove this hut and place it somewhere else. So we can also build another one. Residence and see. Oh, we can build the stables. Another one. Mm, don't want to build another one. Place to keep domestic animals and a roundhouse. Uh, let's build another another hut. I want this hut to go right like so. Uh, can we? Is that gonna gonna be a good idea? Yeah, it's gonna be a great idea. Right there. We'll move the crafting, uh, the crafter over to here, in the corner, and that will give us uh, some more space for another hut. Um, but for now, this is great. So the crafter will be gone, and then we have another s more space, like so, we can get out. All good. All good. Uh, we have some. We have one more haystack right there, and we have six more straw. All good. More than enough to feed the, these animals. How is the mine going? That hasn't gone at all. <laughs> Watch towers built plus one knowledge point. We're back up to five knowledge points. Look at that. Okay, we have flint mine requires six logs. Wow, that's a lot of logs. Uh, I'm gonna just have to cut down a lot more trees. Um, hopefully they grow back. Should be fine. So we need, we need uh, that's tenant. We don't need tenant. Um, oak, we do do that. Some oak there, perfect. All right, excellent. Um, leather outfit, we don't want to produce those. Those are pretty useless. 
Um, so we also don't want this tanner. So let's go ahead and recycle that. Don't need that. It's just going to be a waste of leather. Of perfectly good um, cloth and stuff like that. Uh, so we have a, uh, a cave bear here. Uh, big female. Female cave bear. The workload is high. That's because they have to plant everything again. So I need to see if there's any if there's anybody here that is up for some hunting. I need I need a whole bunch of people. So this is this is quite a bit of people. <coughs> All right, come on, guys, collect yourself and come over here. Let's see, we need to kill this cave bear. I need to go across the water. And then the cave bear mama. This one, that's what we have to kill. The rest of the, the cubs and so on, will, they will run away. But the mommy, she will fight. So I need to have at least uh, five people over here ready to go. I only have three at the moment. What happened to the, other, what happened to the rest of you guys? Do we? Okay, there we are. No, that's only three. I need more of you. Let's see where where they all go. Did they just walk away? Of course they did. I need you too as well. Come over here. So I need you plus these guys to. Oh, is that a mouflon? Yes, we need to capture that one. Ha ha. Uh, and this one as well. Yes, capture that one as well. But uh, I need you guys to stay together. Because I want... I need this bear killed. I get that bear. So these are mostly old people. See, that's a old woman. Uh, that's an old male, old man. But it, with five people, I should be able to take care of this guy. What, what's this? This is a young female bear. Okay. See if, if uh, can I spot this? I need to be able to see this. Can I see this? <laughs> I can't see it because of the trees. So we have to kill the mama bear. There we go. Done. And we have another mouflon over here. That's an old female. These younglings shouldn't be an issue. They'll they'll walk away. We got another adult male mouflon here. And the adult female mouflon with the young. Um, can I can I get one of you guys to go and get it? No, that's fine. Oh, it's a weird in luck that they were so close. Excellent stuff. Can I get you to go and do that? No, you can't. You don't want to. I will have to wait until somebody comes and gets the mouflon. Going to drink. Okay. Uh, as soon as these. Uh, food, honestly, these uh, uh, farms have been planted, uh, we will have enough stuff to do our thing. I think that means that we are set right now at the moment. Well, someone will get the mouflon. Um, they're right here. So it shouldn't take them very long to get them. And we'll have some, we'll get some wool. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So where are our, where are our goats? What happened to the goats? Did the goats die? No, we, we still have four goats. I'm just not sure exactly where they are. Did they all run away? Oh, there they are. That's one goat there. The adult goat there. So they are ready to be milked. All right, excellent. Uh, where are the other goats? Um, I don't see the other goats. 
But never mind. We'll we'll. Uh... Oh, here is here's another goat. That's an adult male. We have two adult males and one adult female. <coughs> what what are you? You are also an adult male. We have three adult males. Uh, let's kill one. We don't need to, we don't need all of them. We don't need all those adult males. They only produce meat. They're only good for one thing, to reproduce and meat. So two goat males, male goats are fine. We need more female goats. Female goats are worth uh, a lot more. So what happened to the uh, the mouflon? Where'd they go? Well, okay, he... He's talking to the mouflon. Ooh, he's totally mesmerized. You can see that. Yeah, come on, sheepy. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have sheep. And he is also talking to another mouflon. We have a, it's a young male. And this is a young male. So we have two young males. Okay, animal reach population has reached 10. We've got another knowledge point. And as soon as we reach 20, we will get three knowledge points from the milestone reached. But we don't have any female mouflon. We need mouflon. Um, oh, we have deer here now. Oh, excellent. Hunting party. Deer will instantly give us another research point. So, okay, well. There's too many sleepy people. Too many tired people around here. I need some fresh, fresh people. So I'm pretty sure you don't have any hunting stuff on you. It doesn't make any sense. Why? Alright. It doesn't I need to select only the hunters. <laughs> okay, why why is this not working? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Never mind. Alright, there we go. We need a couple of you guys. Let me get you guys. Just yeah, without you. Just this this just these three. These three is fine. Okay, come in, come with me. Wait, where do we see the deer again? Did they go off again? Uh, they went over here. I need you to come over here and kill a deer. Just one. That'll be fine. Just one beautiful little deer. And with that one little deer, we'll get another knowledge point. And then we have seven again and we can get piggies. <laughs> um, but we need... We will need some more straw, some more food for the piggies. So we need to get this area cleared out as well. We can put down some more plants. Barley. What do we have over here? That's acorn. That's barley. Um, let's see, can we put emmer? Is it emmer a good thing? I don't know. Uh, rye domestication. I don't have rye domestication yet. Uh, we can plant trees later fruit domestication um flax we already have that lentils chickpeas i need i need more let's let's plant some more ever <coughs> that's enough right, excellent let's get that set up uh and built we also have another hut to build how much mud do we have here? Ten still. So we have we have plenty of mud. How's the fish? Fish is doing good. Fishing over here. Oh, we hardly did any fishing. Do 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 do. So this is almost all planted. We still need to plant the, the barley though. Um, and once that's done, oh, you seem very unhappy. Uh, did I give you too much work to do? <laughs> Where, where are you guys going? Um, you are going to get bone, you are going to get raw skin, you are going to get meat, and you are going to get raw meat. Okay, so we're getting a whole bunch of meat there. Let's get this. Let's see how our hunting party is moving. Okay, they are still moving towards the deer. 
Deer haven't moved out of the area yet. <gasps> Some more mouflon. Young male. Young female. We need that young female. That's what one we need. Excellent. Young female mouflon is what we want. What's this over here? Ah, oh, more flint. All right, never mind that. So the deer is what we will be hunting uh, for the foreseeable future. They're going to proliferate in the area, get more and more. Be mostly going to be our main hunting source. What's this? Uh, boar, adult female. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we have over here? Some really big boar. We'll get the piggies later. Once we have the domestic, the pigs domestication done. Um, but for now, I want to have this, the deer. That will give us one more knowledge point, and move us a step closer towards <coughs> pig domestication. And then copper smelting. Ooh, stilts also quite nice to have. Uh, the trouble with bridges is that bridges are all great, and so on. They're really good. The only thing is, uh, where are my hunters? Oh, there they are. The only thing is that they, uh, the bridges will be used by, um, by the raiders as well. So even though you made the bridges for, um, for your people, <laughs> the raiders will use them too, and you'll be. Uh, They'll, they'll be able to get travel to your village faster across the river um, than normal. So that, that's a, yeah, it's a two-way thing. But it does mean that we can get across the river faster, which is kind of helpful. I need this deer. I need one of them. Not all of them, just one. If we can get the deer, get the knowledge point. Yes, they're moving back towards my hunters. Perfect. And they're staying in the area. Also good. It's a good sign. They're not crossing the water yet. Lady, you are so slow. Can you go back? Yeah, just, just go back. Going after deer. Okay, she she won't stop. <laughs> Let's just let her do that thing. So if we hit the deer, they will try. Oh, there's a land bridge right there. Um, they might get away. They're pretty fast. But we, our, our guys do have bow and arrows. Uh, that's the young female. Shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't charge. Shouldn't attack. We have no more flint? Okay, well, that's great. I, I have a flint mine. Right across here. Can we make the flint mine? Oh, you guys are making it. Perfect. Once we have the flint mine made, uh, we can start... Um, oh, he, she killed something. She killed a young deer. Young female deer. Not, oh, we got another knowledge point. Perfect. <laughs> we have seven already. We don't need to get this uh, this deer. Now we just need to get up to 20. And then we can move up to the Copper Age. I still want the deer, though. So they are, they are currently... Alright, this deer is going to run for its life. Deer has escaped. Of course it has. Because you guys are tired as hell, aren't you? All right, you know what? Give me a boar instead. Oh, the deer are back. Excellent, we got a deer. Ooh, we got a, a mountain lion as well. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a threat. <laughs> adult female, adult female. Three adult females and more on the way. Um, I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to... I don't want, I don't want to uh, fight them. <laughs> I don't have the guys for that. So my men are really, uh, really thirsty. And this is, look at them. 
He's drinking water. This guy's got balls. <laughs> They're so wow, significant, significant uh, sized testicles right there. Just to sit and drink next to a wild adult hunting lion. Holy flip. Alright, well we got our deer. And she's really tired. She shouldn't die from that. Uh, might cause a little bit of damage, but it's fine. She will get back. Anyway, she's also an old female, so it doesn't really make much make much difference. Um, all right, we'll continue getting the. Uh, well, you seem very unhappy. You also seem very unhappy because we have a bunch of unhappy people here. Um, it's because we don't have enough totems. Apparently, you can only you can only pray to a totem one person at a time. Uh, so we need we need some more of these big totems around. Anyways, well, we'll be building them in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.